But as we talk NXT, we got to talk about this weekend in NXT UK and their takeover event. So NXT UK takeover from Cardiff, Wales, live on the WWE Network this coming Saturday. And there's, as of right now, one, two, three, four, five matches on the card. Officially announced. Three title matches, two non-title matches, and a possible sixth match. But I don't think they should add the sixth match. Maybe they can do like a quick brawl thing. So Cesaro on Tuesday, well, technically it was Monday night when they filmed it. But they put it out Tuesday. They say that Cesaro's going to NXT TakeOver in Cardiff. He also teased that he could get physical on that show. And Pete Dunn responded to his tweet and just said, all right, mate. So I don't know if something's going to go down between Cesaro and Pete Dunn. Or if that was just Pete Dunn just saying whatever because he wanted to be cool. So that's a possible match. Also, we do have two non-title matches. For some reason, I couldn't find my graphics for those, so bear with me. We have Noam Dar taking on Travis Banks. Both guys have been getting decent pushes in NXT UK. Noam Dar a little better than Travis Banks. So I honestly think that in this match, they're going to put Noam Dar over Travis Banks. As we go forward, we do have a, a last man standing match where we will see Joe Coffey taking on uh, Dave Mastiff. And this is just the battle of the big men. The big guys are just going to go out there. They're going to brawl. They're going to beat the crap out of each other. And it's a pick em. It really is. I mean, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with Joe Coffey just because I guess they've done more with him. So I just see him going over in this match. Really, again, like I said, it's a pick em. It can go either way. But going forward, we do have a triple threat for the NXT UK Tag Team Championships. The tag team champions, the Grizzled Young Veterans, Zach Gibson and James Drake, will be defending against the team of Gallus, Wolfgang, and Mark Coffey, as well as Flash Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews. And I think they should keep the titles on the champions, keep the championships with the Grizzled Young Vets. I think they've done a great job so far as the tag team champions are in NXT UK. Maybe let them hold them till whenever the next NXT UK is going to be. If we if we go off the timeline between the first and this one, six months or so, seven months. So maybe at the end of the year they do another one. Maybe in January they do another one, and that's when they can lose the titles. So I think Grizzle Young Vets keep the titles. As we go forward, the NXT UK Women's Championship is on the line when Tony Storm defends against Kaylee Ray. Now a lot of people. Don't really know Kaylee Ray that well. She's really good talent, but I just don't see her going over Tony Storm. Tony Storm is really, really putting this uh, match over in interviews, saying that this is the biggest match of her career. Which I digress. I think the biggest match of her career was when she took on Rhea Ripley and challenged for the title after winning the Mae Young Classic. So I honestly think that's the biggest match of her career. But her first. Like, it's not her first defense, but it's her first major defense on, like, a an, uh, UK special, takeover special. So, I think this could be a solid match, but Tony Storm, of course, retains. And then in the main event, in a match that if you, if you did not see their match at, a, at Hello Wembley for progress, go watch it before Saturday. Walter will be defending the, w the WWE United Kingdom Championship against Tyler Bacon. Yeah. I don't know why they haven't changed the name of the belt either. But this match is literally David versus Goliath, but in the best possible way. Because if if you did not, like I said, see their match from progress, Hello Wembley, you're in for a surprise because that match was just amazing. Tyler Bate is one of the greatest wrestlers right now that's not being utilized to his best of abilities. Walter, everyone knows what Walter can do. Walter can go out there and just kill anybody. And with their, their two different styles that these guys have, it actually works together perfectly. And if I had to predict, this is going to be a hard one. Now, 
I kind of want to see Walter keep the title. But at the same time, how cool would it be to see the smaller Tyler Bate topple the giant in Walter? So I, I'm probably going to be wrong here, but my prediction is going to have to be Tyler Bate winning and retain, regaining that championship that he was the first champion of or the first holder of. Uh, Henry McKenna, you're probably right there. He says Imperium will interfere, probably. But you remember, you got to remember, Tyler Bate. He's got old Pete Dunn and um, Trent Seven on his side that can help him if Imperium runs down. And before we move on from this, Gregory Benson asked about Tony Storm. He said, isn't she injured right now? Yes and no. She said that she was, her shoulder was bothering her. So she took some time off so it didn't get hurt. I don't know if it was a full-blown injury or that she just knew that it wasn't 100%. And so she took a couple weeks off. She didn't do any, you know, indie shows or anything. So that way she didn't hurt herself going into this match where others in other companies, I'm not going to, I'm just going to say it, weren't really as smart. But with that... Those are my predictions for this Saturday's NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff from Cardiff, Wales. Again, this will air on the WWE Network. I want to say at like 3.30 Eastern maybe here in the United States. Should be a really good show. If it's anything like the last one, I think it'll really, really impress a lot of people that don't really watch TakeOver. And hey, don't worry about having to choose because, yeah, a lot's the same night but they're not on at the same time. 